Masu is the first to call his school of Buddhism Chan, the Chinese for Dhyana of India, which means sitting or meditating. We know it best by its Japanese name for the school, Zen. Hui Neng shocked his students by tearing up sutras and saying that the fundamentals of Buddhism don't exist. Mazu became famous for his, quote, strange words and extraordinary actions, end quote. It is with Mazu that Zen became associated with the unexpected and absurd, with strange, silly, and sometimes brutal responses that shock students into direct awareness and open new understandings of reality, the mind, and Buddhist teachings. Hui Neng taught Huai Rong, who taught Mazu, according to Lin Ji's followers, such that Mazu, the most popular and radical Chan master of his day, was placed in the line of Hui Neng just as Hui Neng was placed in the line of Bodhidharma. Mazu taught Bai Zhang, who taught Huangbo, who taught Lin Ji, and Lin Ji's house created the Koan records. Zen has followed their example for a thousand years with master after master presenting their students with the unexpected, counterintuitive, and absurd. This is where pondering the sound of one hand clapping or the tree falling in the forest when no one is around comes from. These recorded sayings, the koan encounters and interviews between masters and students became the new source of Chan practice and study, serving not only as a historical record of the schools and their lineages, but as philosophical puzzles for contemplation, often done in seated meditation. By Mazu's time, there was mounting criticism in China of sitting practices, diverting the focus of Chan Buddhism. Just as in Hui Neng's time, there was mounting criticism of studying and reciting the sutras. This criticism is found in the story of Mazu's breakthrough into enlightenment, a koan case found itself in the transmission of the lamp, the blue cliff record, and the gateless gate. One day, Mazu was sitting in meditation when Master Huai Rong walked by and noticed that Mazu was having trouble concentrating. So Huai Rong sat down facing him and began rubbing a tile with his sleeve. Mazu asked, what are you doing? And he replies, I am making a mirror. And Mazu says, how can you make a mirror by rubbing a tile, stupid? And Huai Rong says, and how can you become a Buddha by sitting in meditation? Mazu asks, then what should I do? And Huai Rong says, when a carriage stops moving, do you strike the carriage or the ox? Are you practicing meditation or practicing sitting like a Buddha? If you try to sit like a Buddha, you kill the Buddha. If you are attached to the form of meditation, you do not realize the meaning. And Mazu experienced a great breakthrough in enlightenment. Huai Rong says to Mazu, don't kill the Buddha. But Lin Ji says, when you see the Buddha, just walk right up and kill him. You're not a tile, you're a mirror. So why are you sitting there trying to polish yourself almost like as if you're a tile? As he sits there thinking he's not enlightened, trying and trying and trying too hard, it's like he's polishing a tile. Do you strike the carriage or the ox? Carriage is an artificial construction. The ox is a living being. The dumb ox could be the simple living thing that is life, and it is what draws the cart. Possibly a saintly, like, stupid, very blockheaded Taoist being. If you are attached to the form of meditation, you do not realize the meaning. So just as the Buddha was critical of the Jains for trying to get rid of the self, Huai Rong was critical of Mazu for trying to get rid of what he thought through meditation. Mazu may have indeed prepared the way for his enlightenment by training himself with meditation, but it was Huai Rong's words that pushed him to a breakthrough.